His Excellency, thank you so much for taking your time to have a chat with us from C today. So right now, Indonesia is hosting the G20 presidency, and there are several goals that we want to achieve. Uh, but from ISDB, like what are the, your main goals for this event and what are uh, you try to do to focus more on this? Um, first, I want to say that I am very happy to be here in Jakarta in Indonesia. And I am very proud that Indonesia, a member country of the Islamic Development Bank, is the president of the G20 for this year. So we're very proud of that. Third, we're observers to the G20. As you know, the G20 is a country membership, not institutional membership. But we are here to support Indonesia, Indonesia's president, in any aspect or any part of the meetings that they would like us to participate in. As you well know, uh, this gathering uh, comes at the end, hopefully the end, of this pandemic. But the consequences, the economic consequences are very serious and very severe globally. And especially to our member countries who are very poor. We have half of our membership are least developed countries. So I'm here to also hear, listen to our uh, Indonesian friends on their uh, plans for the G20 meetings and at the same time uh, share with them our concerns on the health issues, on the recovery issues for our, for our countries and so the concerns of the South to be taken into account and I cannot think of a better country than Indonesia to bring that to the fore in these uh, meetings. As you mentioned before, during the first FMCVG seminar, which you attended virtually, that right now you are also focusing on the green economy recovery and green economy growth. Like, could you explain more about that? Yes, as you know, we would like sustainable growth in our countries. And sustainable at this time, with the, with the emission issues and with the climate change, we have to move some of our projects into a more sustainable path. So I'll give you an example. By 2025, we plan to have 35% of our lending in climate-friendly projects. So that is a contribution. We are advising our membership also, if they are, let's say, investing in energy, to focus first on renewable energy. We would like the members who, who borrow from us also to start developing green sukuk also because they encourage the utilization of green and climate friendly uh, uh, development. So all of that is important for the issues of sustainability. Currently, Islamic finance plays an important role towards Indonesia economic growth. So. Uh, like, how does it relate to the ISDB role and do you have any kind of sectors that you want to push more in the future? No, uh, we don't need to push anybody, not Indonesia, <laughs> not anybody, you okay. know. No, we work with countries. We start from where the country ends in its plans. We listen to them. Our job is to listen carefully and start from there. So. Whatever Indonesia wants to do uh, in its own development plans, we will come and support. For example, if they want to develop their green sukuk or the bonds, the Islamic bonds market, we can provide technical assistance. We can come and, and share with them the knowledge we have because we have issued green sukuk. Last question, like uh, Indonesia and ISDB has a long way partnership. You also fully supported Indonesia G20 host presidency. And in fact, you even hold this event. So what are your hopes actually for the future? Well, my hope in the future and colleagues at the Islamic Development Bank is that Indonesia will, will be able to enhance its capital contribution to the institution. My hope is that we will be able to finance more projects in Indonesia. We are already involved in the educational, we are already involved, we, are, we have financed six hospitals already and we are looking at six more later on. 
Uh, we are also in the grid enhancement uh, project. Uh, I actually even visited the, the project today, uh, yesterday. So we have a lot of hopes for expanding our activity in Indonesia. And I think uh, uh, Minister Mugliani speech also encouraged me yeah. that that she expects more from the bank and that she and her staff and the other ministries will also be preparing documentation for new projects with the Islamic Development Bank. We will be more than happy to help in every way possible. Indonesia is important for us. It's a very large member and uh, we, we will do whatever we can to enhance that relationship and accelerate the development process in Indonesia. Okay, so we can expect more from ISD. Inshallah. Okay, thank you His Excellency for You're your welcome. time. You're uh, welcome. And we hope that you enjoy the rest of your time here in Indonesia. I sure did. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much.